Yeah. So, tell me, is your people, uh, Jacobites or English lovers, Arthur? My people were peasants. We had no time for politics. My dad would say that no politics was politics. That old world bullshit, it ain't got no place here. Why? Because there ain't no judgment here. Most folks hate the Negroes, they hate the Redskins, the Jews, even us Irish. <laughs> you ain't so free of politics. I hate everyone just the same. Well, in that case, you're gonna want what I just found for us. What's that? I was riding around a couple of days back. I come across this old cabin. A couple of fuckers lazing about outside all liquored up. <laughs> I didn't think nothing of it. But then I come across this hunter down by the river. He tells me they're a stick-up crew. Says they hit a train a couple of days back near Emerald Ranch. Nice fella he was, shared a bottle we did. Then I robbed the bastard blind. <laughs> and you believed him? No reason not to. If he's right, it'll be a big haul for us. I saw three of them, maybe more, but I reckon you and me, we could take them real easy. All right. What the hell? Let's go check it out. <laughs> them sons of bitches think they're mean? <laughs> they're about to get a lesson in mean. You just keep your cool, you hear me? Yep. Right, follow me. How far is this place? Bit of a ride, not too bad. Back up north to stretch, not far from the state line. All right. So, what were you doing riding around up there anyway? Sniffing around, looking for a take. I got a long nose for these things. Dutch has always honored us to get out there and bring in money, ain't he? And rightly so. I ain't like some of them others back there. Sitting around waiting to be told, I go after it. I see you sitting around plenty. I mean, I don't need no coddling like the rest. Dutch knows my value to the cause. As from the moment I met him. Morgan, you tried to kill him, if I remember the story right. And he kept me around, didn't he? He saw something in me. He said as much. I'm sure. Dutch is good at seeing things in people. And while we're talking about money, you are clear on how this works. We split half, other half goes to the gang. Dutch keeps all our savings hidden in a safe spot outside camp. Yeah, yeah, I know. How many times do you have to tell me? Well, what's that box by his tent for, then? Camp funds, supplies and the like. <laughs> The fact you don't know that suggests you clearly ain't put much in it. I always pay me way. Don't you worry. You're sure you scoped this place out right? Yes. See? That's why I wanted you along for this. You're still a doubter. I ain't just some dumb kid. I've lived a lifetime of shit already. And you sure don't keep it bottled up inside. What about that train job with the oil wagon? Made a good show in there, didn't I? You got knocked out. Ah, that's what you choose to remember. We got paid. We got out of there. Got knocked out in Blackwater, too, didn't you? <laughs> now, that was bloody chaos. Did you get split off with Mac? Nope. Didn't see him. I lost your boys at some point when he was getting out of town. Easy. They caught up with Mac a couple of days after. Davey was finished by the time we got up the mountains. Jenny didn't even make it that far. Those bounty hunters strung me up, beat me, pulled teeth, burned me feet. I didn't breathe a word about nothing, I swear. Good. And it's time folks stop giving Dutch a hard time about all that Blackwater business, if you ask me. All right, that left away. We're nearly there. Hard left coming up. All right, it's going to be off the road up ahead. Hey. Up here, Morgan. Watch it. Let's see 
the horses here and go the rest on foot. I want them to hear us coming. Here, I'll deal with them. Let's make sure we keep one of them alive to tell us where they stashed the money. Hope you know what you're doing. There's one of them outside. This is good. It is? Leave it to me. I'll do the talking. You hang back. seconds to get the hell off my property, boy. Uh, look, don't want no trouble. Just thought you might like to know we passed a big posse of lawmen headed this way. There were a dozen of them coming up east. What? Where? Right here. It's up after. Here come the rest of them. You saw what we did to your pals here. Okay, okay, I give up. Don't shoot. I ain't armed. If you want to leave, you'll tell me where that money's stashed. Well, all right, all right, take it easy. Behind the, the wall in the bedrooms, if you stick your hand between the gap. All right, you go grab the money. We'll keep an eye on sunshine here. You know what? Just get the hell out of here. Don't look back. This is more like it. Good work. Hey, what about my car? I found a place, didn't I? All right, here. But don't forget to give the camp its share. Supplies don't appear by magic, you know. All right, don't need the lecture again. I'll see you back at camp. Never know what folks got stashed. <laughs> Just gotta be other places out there like this.
You okay, Lenny? Yeah. Lemoyne wouldn't be my first choice, but this is a good spot. It's just for now. Okay, speak later. All right, Austin. Arrest me, Arthur. Ah, Herr Morgan. Herr Strauss. How are you enjoying yourself here? Well enough, I guess. And you? Well, it turns out the pursuit of freedom is not a cheap business. Not for us, and not for some of the locals. Sharking already. I prefer to call it banking. You ain't the one handing out the beatings. No, but I am the one feeding the women and children in the camp. What choice do we have, Mr. Nah, Morgan? I don't know. Well, come on, then. Tell me who. Here's the list. Refinery worker turned hunter by the name of Vinton Holmes. You'll find him up in the hills north of Strawberry. Ah, an apprentice undertaker. This one working in rows. His name was... Gwen Hughes. And how many of them do you think will be able to pay? <laughs> With enough encouragement, both of them. <laughs> hey, Arthur. What's going on? Yes, Jose and John are looking for you. They went out to the moonshine stash, said you knew where that was. Great. They was planning a visit to the Braithwaite place, but John needs to do something for Dutch now, so Hosea wants you to join him instead. <sighs> Seems to be a lot going on. You're telling me. Okay, thank you. So, what do you think of this place? Not bad. Nice to be by the water. Yeah, it'll do for now. Whatever you're doing well, please, man, I tell you, if I don't get out of here soon, I'm gonna kill somebody. And if you don't stop hissing at me, I'm gonna kill you. You come near me, sailor, and I'll slice you up. You put that knife down, or you could be missing a hand. What is wrong with you two? I ain't chopping vegetables for a living. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow? I ain't lazy, Mr. Morgan. I'll work, but not this. Well, I ain't cooking work. My husband and I, we shared the work. All of it. I was out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife, or use a gun. But I tell you, you keep me here, I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for dinner! Watch your damn mouth, you crazy goddamn fishwife! <laughs> Enough, both of you! <sighs> well, come with me, then. You want to head out there, run with the man? So be it. But we do more than just hunting. We're hunted. And them things hunting us, so well, they got guns of their own. 
I ain't afraid of dying. Good. You need anything, Mr. Pearson? Maybe me and Miss Zed are gonna take a little ride. Yeah, sure. Here's my list, and can you post this letter for me while you're there? Sure. Come on, princess. Are you coming with me then, woman? So I've graduated from chopping vegetables to shopping. Shut your goddamn mouth. You cool down then yet? I guess. No, I ain't no scullion, and I sure as hell ain't taking orders from that sweat halfwit. I guess we all gotta do our share, Princess. <laughs> Where's that letter? Oh, are you reading his mail now? Oh, robbing and killing's okay, but letter reading's where we draw the line. Mm -hmm. Here. <clears throat> Dear Aunt Kathy, you are something else. I haven't heard from you in some time, so I pray to the Lord above that your health has not deteriorated further. Blah blah blah. It's boring. Ooh. <laughs> Wait a sec. Listen to this. Since we last corresponded, I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. <laughs> Before you ask, I am still yet to take a wife, but I can assure you it's not for a lack of suitors. <laughs> you ever actually even talk to a woman he ain't paid for? Oh, look. We're all hiding behind something. <laughs> and what's this? Return to Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, that. That's Duchess out there. All males be sent to the same alias. Whenever we set up somewhere new, Strauss, he heads into town. Tells them to start expecting mail from a Tacitus Kilgore, whatever they changed him to. <laughs> Here, give me that back. We got work to do. Careful! Okay. Here we are. So, what's the plan? I shoot the shopkeeper while you... No! You insane? Well, I thought we was outlaws. Outlaws. Not idiots. We rob fools that rob other people. These people, they're just trying to get by. So you head on in there and you buy some food to eat. And no guns. You're sure? This time, there'll be time for killing soon enough. What are you doing? I'm gonna go check the mail. Nothing exciting. Hello, sir. How's your What did you get there, Mister? What do you mean? The price of tobacco. No! I do beg your pardon. Can I help you, mister? Yes, I would like to post a letter. All right. Okay, no trouble. Thank you. Bye now. When he came out bright blue. I'm trying. Try harder. Ain't nothing you can do. I think this is everything. Thanks. Here, take that for yourself, okay? Thanks. We'll give it back then. Jesus. I didn't ask for his goddamn help. Why don't you drive? Okay. Come on, lady, get a move on. I like Sadie, not lady. I know. So, you get everything? I think so. And some new clothes, I see? Don't start. I can wear what I damn well want. Like I told you, my husband and I shared all the work. 
I wasn't some little wife with a flower in her hair making cherry pies all day. Yeah, I don't doubt that. You sure look the part now. Won't be long before you're smoking cigars and playing the harmonica. I'll have you know, I used to love playing the harmonica before. Well, my house and everything I own got burned to the ground. I know. I'm real sorry about what you, uh, you know. Maybe I'll keep my eye out for another one. I don't want no pity. Just treat me equal and no. Nobody's taking nothing from me ever again. Mm -hmm. Just don't kill the camp cook. Hey there! Hey. What, uh... What you folks up to? Just heading home. You're in Lemoyne Raider country. Keep it cool, You Steve. need to pay a toll to pass through here. No, I don't think so. You don't think so? How about you pull over right now? Pull over? That's what I said. Hey, how's about this? No! No, no, go! God damn it! Get moving! here why because you've caused enough trouble already I'm fine idiot we showed those bastards huh remind me not to get on your bad side and they was clearly planning to bushwhack us you did good but that's a lot of mess to make near camp hope it don't bring anyone sniffing around are you gonna tell Dutch maybe if he asked, but maybe not. Hey, you want me to drive? So who do they say they were? Lemoyne Raiders? Yeah, I've run into them before. Some local gang. Don't seem to have grown out of playing soldiers. Anyway, don't you go upset and piss about that letter. You didn't get yourself killed then, Miss Adler. Not quite. <laughs> well, I'd like to say I missed your refined conversations, but I'd be lying. I... Uh, I enjoyed myself out there. Yes, we, uh, Mrs. Adler did okay. At shopping? Yes, at shopping. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Don't mention it. I would ride with you again, Mrs. Adler, if you will ride with me. Maybe. <laughs> if you prove you can handle yourself. Well... They say I lack finesse, but I ain't afraid of gun smoke. <laughs> we got this, Arthur. You've already done me a big favor today. Okay, Miss High and Mighty. And nice pants, by the way. Oh, shut up. Is that a new revolver? So, how are you liking life as a law? What are we doing, Dutch? 
Well, I think they call it hiding in plain sight. Oh, is that what they call it? Because I got another word for it. Well, I am sure that you have, but the way I see it, we stick out here either way. Now, we can hide and skulk in the woods. We'll arouse more suspicion than if we act friendly and helpful. Interesting theory. I wonder how the practical will work out. We shall see. Faith, Arthur. A face was as red as a lobster. A face of my poor lobster. I watched those pics from my lobster. I'll never get drunk no more. I'm resolved to try it. I'll stick to a moderate diet. All right.